In this game, we're going to be launching a Sigma and a Reinhardt on King's Row, which is a treat to begin with. And here's the description. I can't say I did amazing in this game, because this was absolutely one of my worst games ever. I thought I wasn't doing horrible, but my Tracer and Moira out of nowhere start blaming me. Throughout the game, I always had a little bit of damage above the other tank, and there was never a point where they were even close to the same mitigation. Most of my games, I am hard carrying, but I can't get out of silver since I constantly get not the best teammates. Though I guess it's more likely that I'm doing something wrong at this point because it's been too long. All the more reason why you should critique this. Let's do this. Let's see how this Sigma was playing. I'm gonna be real with you right here on this one. I would not recommend just taking the pedal randomly because there's a pedal on the ground. You just took the pedal up there and left everything over here. Like, just, like, you don't need to take the flower pedal if you see it. You, you, you just don't. Also, remember, when you're going against Azaria as Sigma, you're not playing Reinhardt. Back up. Spam. Oh, yeah. Yep, rock. That was a good rock. Okay, that was certainly uh, quite the start to that game. Remember, as Sigma, you play more spam. You can play close to times, but against Zarya, you don't want to let the Zarya... Oh, yeah, there you go. Go the other way. The other way is the safe way to go. So far, not the best start, but there's plenty of time left in this game. Okay, distance. Play back, play back, play back, play back. Okay. You can play a little bit more aggro than this Life Weaver tree there. Hey, nice rock! Yep, rock! I like that one. My barrier is gone. I like that. You said it's been day 145 since the last tier list? All right, listen. If we're still in queue, we'll do it. We'll do a season five tier list the rest of the way. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. So far, you're kind of just all over the map. I will say this though: this feels like it's a team effort more than it is specifically on one player right now. Yeah, there, there was tunnel vision there, but so far, like nothing's really happening on your team. You're not really getting many limbs, like across the board. Like this is like a team effort. It feels like. Good help. You got the Moira in that. He's going places on King's Row you've never seen. That's fair. Okay, now you're getting a limbs. Uh, this is silver. Remember, play a little bit, a little bit further back. Play further back. Don't try to play so close. Like, you can play, like, you can play close now because they don't have a Zarya there, but when there's a Zarya there, play distance from Zarya. You're going to give value to Zarya. Okay, now we got to talk about this. I was going to say, do not go all the way up there to get that torp. I guess you could try to spam him. Let your teammates know. Ping. Ping. Yep, Brock. Shield. 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 There you go. Nice shield. Okay. Good job. Nice, nice job. Torb. Ping. Okay. Got Brock. Okay, so now that like things have like settled down on the snowball a little bit, you seem to be playing just fine. It seems like you were getting a bit lost when you didn't really know. Okay, what are you going, surfboarding? Back away, what, what was that shield? Oh, this is... Let's talk about this for a second. 
Sometimes when you make an aggressive play, you survive the aggressive play. But sometimes what you don't pay attention to or realize is all of the cooldowns that are needed just to keep you alive during that. You have to remember that as a tank player sometimes. You'd be like, oh, I'll be fine. I'm playing aggressive. This is fine. Yeah, this is fine. But like, think about every resource your team has to use to save you at that point. So when you go to the left there, you, you, you got life crypt. Might have had to use Suzu. Might have had to like, you know, use all, all of this random variation of stuff, right? And look what happens. You lose the team fight. And you put a shield down and go skateboarding. Ah, yo, I'm gonna be I'm, I'm gonna be real with you. I have my fair share of missed Sigma ults. I'm not quite sure what that ultimate just was. I love the commitment they have right now to killing the life weaver tree. Not bad. It's like... I feel like you're in the situation right now with Sigma where you're spending a lot of the time trying to, like, basically get in melee range of the Zarya. When you play Sigma, you want to just control the map. You want to control the map at that point. You know what I mean? Like, like you zone out an area. You don't just, like, try to get in melee range of Zarya. This is fine, by the way. You can play aggressive here. This is fine. It's when the Zarya is there, you can play a little bit further back. You zone out areas. Most of the game, you're just playing two aggro when you're not supposed to. Then you play two, then you play, then you like, it's almost, you kind of just go forward and like get tunnel visioned on people. And I think if you start improving on that, you'll probably climb more because like, it seems like your aim hasn't been too bad. They need to start melee. I'm not even worried about the melee combos right now, to be honest with you. I'm more worried about like what, what where the team fights end up happening. That was a good ult. <laughs> Why did you not want to shoot at the Lucio? I, I, I don't... I don't. So like, I, I don't understand why you didn't go for the Lucio. You, you, they were just on cart and you're like, hello, how is your day going? Also, I'm not gonna go for the Lucio. Let's talk about this. Your teammates are saying like, oh, it's on you, on you, etc. I don't necessarily see that right now. This has been a team effort at not being able to like hold right there. This is a team effort. Are you playing perfect by any means? Absolutely not. Where am I? What I will say is that like, there's a lot you can improve on. And I think as you start to recognize that like your position and how you play against other tanks can be a big part of that. You were talking about like how you had more damage than the other tank. Now imagine if you played a little bit further back and didn't let that Zarya even get value to begin with. 
All right, I'd recommend helping your team out of the spawn doors here. So, the, so a good start is to is to really get your team out there, so there's not that much all charge going across the board. Okay. So now, do not try to melee the Zarya. And what I mean by that is you can melee the Zarya if you have to, but you're getting in melee range. Right. Yep, Rock. So far, the Rocks have been pretty good. All right, we're, we're starting to... Remember, your damage is how you create space for your teammates. If you're not doing the damage and you're running at them, you're not going to create that space. Oh, here we go, Reinhardt time. It's Reinhardt time. Keep in mind, this is with a new Reinhardt buff. A 1,400 shield. We'll get ready. This is silver, yes. It, it worked. That, that's the best I can go with. It worked. So remember yesterday when I was uh, looking over the patch notes and I said that you're gonna have the Reinhardts who hold their shield up for 1400 and kind of just like chill? We just saw that. And then we saw you absolutely pop off and make a play. Now that you're playing against Zarya, this play style that I've been saying don't play on Sigma, you can now play on Reinhardt, right? You know what I'm saying? I uh, drive, thank you for the tier one, thank you, appreciate it. This is what I was talking about. Now you can play that comp here. Nice pin. Now you can play aggro. This is good against that, uh, Azaria now. Don't let your shield break. Don't let your sh Oh, what is... No, no, don't let your shield break. You can drop your shield. Nothing cap... The big slam! Big slam. Good shatter. Good shatter. Maybe you get the Zarya here. Maybe you don't, but I see... It feels like you play, you like to play Rhine a lot more because you can be aggro. Like this Reinhardt gameplay has been good. It, it, yeah, it, it, like it's literally like, oh, I have fourteen hundred shield now. I'm gonna hold my shield up the whole time. Yeah, don't let your shield break. Obviously, there's a little bit different because you're in a grab, but you keep letting your shield break. Try not to try to minimize your shield breaking. That's happening. All right, that's a charge. I actually would have gone for the same thing and probably missed everybody too, so don't worry about that one. That happens. I want to point out that the Moira that has been, uh, was one of the players you said that was blaming you this game, um, has been in their back line uh, during all of that, and uh, it didn't go that well. Okay. So now your Moira can lead in with all here. Moira all. Moira all. Ryan, look at your, stop letting your shield break. There you go, it didn't break. Get aggressive, get aggressive. You, you have a bob, don't chase that sojourn. Remember, you wanna lead your team forward here. You can ping them. Oh, you know what? Why not charge here? Oh, big slam! Hey, you know what? The alts have been really good. The alts have been really good. Can't deny that. All right, shield up. Shield up. I would not... Listen, if you have nowhere to go with that charge, do not charge into the back line. It, I, listen, and I like to charge his Ryan. Oh, yeah, what a treat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You were going nowhere with that charge, so you just charge into their back line. You know what, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you do that, like, what's going to happen? going to have a charge now. Yep. Okay, Reaper made at the point. Wait a second. Do you actually take the second point? Wait, there's no way. 
Wait, you got- wait, 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 wait. Do you get this? I think you get this! Hey, you know what? Nice job! Nice job, okay! I was surprised by that one, I didn't know what to expect. Big slam. All right, that was a shatter. That was a shatter. Not bad. Okay. Don't let your shield break too much now. You have a little bit of a timing now to keep your shield down. Here we go. Not bad. Okay, your shield. Okay, your shield has been at this for a while. Swing on the Zarya. Good swing. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Nice. Okay, shield up. And now? Nope, just charge into the back line. Even better. You know what? We take it. Great map space. Control. All right, nice. Okay, now your team. It's up to your team to win this. Here we go. You're back on point. Okay, here we go. Huh. Here's what I say about this. Your teammates blamed you for that game. You didn't play that bad. You have a lot to work on with your position, but like that was like a team effort as to why you lost. You had plenty of time to get the last point there. You had plenty of opportunities to make play. There is so much opportunity on that one. Like, like it was a group effort as a team. You also said you think you should be much higher rank-wise. I would say work on your position and work on your decision-making, especially against certain tanks, because a lot of the time you were basically playing into the Zarya when you could have played a little bit further back and that Zarya gets even less value and maybe the team fights are a little bit different. That's what I would recommend. So there you go. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you want to submit your own one, join my Discord. I hope you've been enjoying the video. Sub to all the YouTubes. Hope you all have an amazing day slash night.